I have descended to hell. Um. <laughs> um. The void is claiming me. It's Kirby. Oh no. He's eating Batman. Fuck. Wait. Oh, I don't die. I thought I was dying before. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it falling for one of your blocks? <laughs> Way, way to ruin the mood, you damn peddler. Well done. You walked into a cutscene. The peddler walked into a cutscene. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, you know what? Yeah, they, 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 they've made it better. they made it easier. All right, get this game. Get this game. Get this game. They, they, yeah, that, that, felt, that felt much easier. I mean, it was, again, still tough, but tough, but fair. That was, yes! Let's go! Yeah! No! <laughs> Tifa! Just, just, just do it. What? No, he teleported. No, why did you teleport? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 I do like this level. I do like this level. I think it's very beautiful looking. Oh, my Lord. What the hell? That was kind of funny, but what the hell, bro? Like. Ding, ding, ding. Gotta speed it up. Uh-oh. Sonic, hit Dark Gaia's weak spot. Quick, while I hold him back. <laughs> I don't have my soundboard on. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Where do we go, Sensei? Um. Um. What the hell happened there? You okay, Sensei? You had a bit of a tumble? What the fuck happened? <laughs> Lord Sakai, check out my dance moves on these stairs. <laughs> oh, mate. What was what was that all about? <laughs> okay. The only thing is that I'm out of Giga Dread. Oh. Bye, Dovakim. Bye, Dovakim. I just don't think I could keep it up. That's the thing. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. I'm on fire. Like, it might have been, like, the longest one because... I have descended to hell. Um. <laughs> um. The void is claiming me. It's Kirby. Oh no. He's eating Batman. Fuck. Wait. Oh, I don't die. I thought I was dying before. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. 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 How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. We are, of course, we're still here. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Webcam looking a little bit, a little bit, a little bit orangey. Do I need to? Do I need to? Um, a little bit less light there. A little bit, a little bit too orange. Got the saturation a bit. Well, actually, no. I kind of. 
Well, uh, yeah, let's see. I guess that'll do. Look there, things. All right. I think he says. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, what are we doing today, Jay? Well, you'd be uh, surprised to know that we're doing more of the same. Although, if, I think it's fair to say I've kind of given up on, on trying to learn machine techniques. But I'm going to have to either way, right? I think it's fair to say we're probably most likely going to get a digivolution. And I haven't... I've decided to actually not plan this. I'm actually just going to go in... Which is kind of risky, but I figured since we've got quite a lot of digivolutions to get through, I figured I'd be okay. I'm risking just kind of going in and just seeing what we get in the hopes that I'll get someone that I haven't got yet. If I get someone I have got, here's what it is. R rookies are fine, really, because I've, I've gotten all the rookies. It, it's the champions and the ultimates I haven't done. Um, and push comes to shove, I could just kind of... Uh, give out digivolution items if I really want to go down down that that route. But uh, last stream was pretty rough, man. Um, unfortunately, it seems it's going to be a struggle in terms of the machine types. Um, I'd like to do more arena battles, though, really. Um, whether it be through Girumon or whoever we get next. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how we go. Um... Man. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I don't know. We need a bit of luck, I think. I think we need a bit of luck. Try and push this further. Um, I will admit, as much as I do enjoy this game, I probably have kept it going on a little too long for my liking. Um, so we may have to kind of bum rush it a little bit. Um, I mean, at the end of the day... If I had more time, I would stream longer, right? Um, really, I want I want everything to be done by year 10. So then year 10 will be the last medal I get. And I feel like that's natural that it ought to be the last medal that I get, right? At least in my opinion. Um, to me, it makes a lot of sense. So he's going to be around probably for, for an, another day or so. Maybe two days if you're lucky. Um... Sure, let's, let's, we need to do more arena battles anyway, if he survive, if he's alive the next day, um, they, we'll, we'll throw him in an arena battle, um, and we'll, we'll see, we'll see, hopefully we beat it, you know, let's say, worst case scenario, I could just go and do rookies, rookie, I could, I can bully the rookies, <laughs> um, you know, and go from there, but we do need to do at least 100 arena battles, and, uh, I've said this before, but unfortunately, because it is an old game, there's no proper check for anything like that. You kind of just have to do it, and then eventually they'll be like, yeah, you've done at least 100 arena battles. And you're sitting there thinking, have I? I guess I have. You know, there's no tally. There's no way to know until it happens, right? So, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can really say. Yeah, okay, you know what? I don't think there's much point in really buffing my stats at the moment. I feel like the only... Literally, I feel like I should just keep doing this. Even though I can't see the RNG being any better. If I'm honest. But... Sadly. Because if I don't do it with him, I'm going to have to do it with someone else anyway. Because I literally... Like, again, the only other move I can learn is from Machine Jamon, if I'm lucky. That's it. Yeah. Do it again. No. Alright, let's go do the tournament. Oh. Yeah. Man. Man, I got really unlucky. Got really, really, really unlucky. Um... Oh, well, let's throw him into a tournament. And I guess while we're in the tournament, I'll try and chat about a few things. Um, 
through random stuff. Uh, what one? I suppose one topic, sort of not not so random. Something I've definitely discussed before and, and talked about before and and whatnot. I it's usually a, a case of I'll always say I want to do things, but I'll never actually do it. I'll never get round to or whatever or something happens. I don't know. My motivation doesn't allow me to. You know, know. excuses, excuses, excuses. Got to remember that this is a hobby, and a hobby, I think it will remain. I can't see. I can't. I can't ever see myself like streaming full time or doing YouTube. Con I just can't see that ever happening. I've been doing YouTube for years. I feel like if it was going to happen, it was going to happen. I know that's not really quite how that works, but that's just kind of my mindset, really. I'm just like, look, I never went in back in back in the old days, 2009, 2010, being like, yo. Well, initially, because money wasn't money making really wasn't a thing back then. It was only until like like some you know some years later when it started to become a thing, and people were like, oh my god, you can actually make this a living now, right? It wasn't always like that. So that's how you know I've been around YouTube a long time. <laughs> you know, that's how you know. Back in the day of video responses. Yeah, I bet you don't remember that. I do. I kind of miss them sometimes. But I also don't know if they'd really help in this type of situation, right? I feel like it would probably mess up the data of your algorithm. I, I don't know, but... um. You know, a lot of people say they always miss, like, old YouTube. And I do, but I, but I also think, would it really work these days? I don't know. Also, we're fighting Teddy! The, the big, cuddly teddy bear. Although, this teddy bear is going to squeeze you, and he's going to squeeze your life. Squeeze your life out of you, man. Ow. Well, at least he doesn't have Thunder Justice. That's good. He's just going to dance, though. He's going to do a war cry dance. And just spam electric cloud on me, I guess. Hey, you whiffed. Hey, you blocked, though. Nice. Interrupted him. Interrupted him again. Oh, I should have... Okay, there we go. I was like, I should have... Um. The thing is, though, this finisher is so bad. And I forgot how bad it was, you know? You know? He's probably not even going to walk into it. Wow. See, but the but that's hit stun. That See, in my opinion, right, I feel like the hit stun should not apply for that finisher. I feel like you should hit them with a move. They fall into the bomb and they still take damage. Because otherwise, who's getting hit by that landmine? Right? Who's getting hit? <laughs> no one. That's who. That went on for a bit, I will admit. But we won. And of course, it's 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 MP again. Even though, well, I guess I am spamming uh, Megalo Spark, but... <sighs> that's probably my most consuming, right? Oh, this will be funny. Yeah, we get to fight... Well, if we if we beat Megadramon, it would be uh, Giramon versus the Imposter Giramon. That'd be fun. Though I bet I bet Megadramon's just gonna destroy me. Yeah, look at my brains. Eight hundred eighteen. Doesn't even need to be that high, but it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I I think I'm liking the look of uh, Megadramon stats. Also. His defense is 737. That's, I mean, he's going to be tanking. He's going to be tanking, bro. He ain't tanking that, though. He ain't tanking that, though. I mean, if you paralyze him, right, then that's always good. Really? He's used a metal sprinter? Wait, why am I complaining? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Jay. What's the other move he was using? Our oh, all range beam got it. Got it. Man. I wish I could have like learned DG Dimension from you or something. I'm pretty sure he uses DG Dimension. Is it DG or CG? 
It's right. Yeah, yeah. It's the CG dimension, man. <laughs> Digimon World invented it. <laughs> invented the CG. They invented CG, man. You didn't know? Wow, you learn something new every day, eh? So, um, something I've been debating about, and I've been seeing other content creators have been doing this, and I've talked about this before, and I've and I've and I've definitely done this. I've flip flopped. Um, but I've, I've been debating the going back to streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. You couldn't before, I think, if you were a partner and maybe if you're an affiliate, even though I'm pretty sure I was technically doing it anyway. Um, I mean, I'm a nobody. It's not like Twitch is going to know. Right? But anyway, um, with, with, with how Twitch is, I kind of wanted to consider my options. Um, and I figured, well, if... if if I can, if I can stream to YouTube and Twitch with no issue, uh oh, he might actually finish me off here. Oh no, okay. The problem is, I think, I think fake, I think fake, um, Giramon's gonna gonna crush me because I can't heal, right? I don't get my full HP and such, but um, it really depends on his move set. Because he seems very... Because cause the fake Giramon seems to just have melee attacks. I don't think he has anything else. Look at my HP though. Maybe. Honestly, I think that's more scarier than Giramon's. Literally got no eyes, bro. We had eyes there. Just like black voids. It, it's like a beta Giramon, right? It's, it's like a... Like you think this Giramon is scary, man. It's like... What happens if you have like a prototype Giramon, right? They haven't fully finished him. It's like a like a fucking horror movie, bro. You know? Oh no, okay. He he um he has one machine move. Alright. And he's gonna keep spamming it. Lovely. Yeah, you keep spamming it. Yeah, you you keep doing that. Pity that if I had my finisher, right, then then it wouldn't be an issue. That's not the case, clearly. Nice, we got him. Alright, can I electric cloud? I can. But I think I lose, because I'm gonna I'm gonna just defend and see what happens. Yeah, I didn't defend. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna kill me because he's he's got more m magic power than me. I blocked that though. That's good. Uh, I'll I'll get back to YouTube in a second. Um. I mean, honestly, I'm just doing this to waste time. I'm just doing this to waste time. That's it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah. Oh, man. I lost to the prototype Giramon. All because I, I just didn't have the MP. It's always the MP, man. Every time I do a tournament, I'm always struggling for MP. All the time. I know. I guess I could have used Electric Cloud, but it's so much weaker, you know? It wouldn't be a problem, again, if my finisher wasn't so shit. <laughs> but it is. It's so bad. But, um, yeah, I've been debating on, on streaming to YouTube and Twitch again at the same time. Um, maybe if if things really go south with Twitch, maybe I'll go back to YouTube. The only issue is, is that I do not want to stream to the Game Busters UK channel because that would imply that the Game Busters UK channel is alive and it's not. I know I stream, but honestly, it's even though it is, you know, I'm on the Game Busters UK stream... Really, let's be honest, it might as well just be my old streaming, which was just Game Busters J, right? Um, that's pretty much what it's become, right? Mark don't stream no more, Jamie don't stream no more. It's 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 just the me show, like, let's be honest, right? It just is. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it just means that I don't want to go back to Game Busters UK because... Not the YouTube channel, just because it's... I'm I'm done with that, you know. I'm I I've had enough. Um, so what I will probably do, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do this yet. But I think once I have uploaded all of the parts of Digimon World as recent as I can, 
So let's say if I'm on, if I'm up to part thirty, once all them been uploaded, um, the next stream after that, I'll try and stream to the to the Game Busters Archive channel, which is the Stream Busters UK, and it will be on there. So there's going to be people that won't know about that. Um, and all I can really say is, if you watch any of my streams, um, at all, if you know of me and you're listening to me right now and you haven't subscribed. If you like any of these streams, check the archive channel. I am up, I'm uploading everything now. Um, I, there will be a highlight channel. There will be in the future. I have plans for highlights, but it's going to be it's going to be on a separate channel. I've got nothing concrete at the moment, so I can't tell you anything more than that. I'm just saying that I'm working on some things in the background. That's all I'll say. When I have more, I'll let you know. But for now, I'm just archiving the fully unedited streams. So it's just it's just a it's just a dump, you know. In case anyone's like, "Hey, yo, I didn't watch this amazing stream of Game Busters J. I uh, and um, Twitch doesn't keep the archives on for very long. So uh, yeah, we can go on Stream Busters UK, and there, yeah, yeah, there you go. Look, I still haven't done Crisis Core. Um, I still, I still really, I still want to, um, upload my Crisis Core stuff. Um, but we'll see. Because I'm pretty sure I have it all. I, you know. Um, but yeah, I want to at least catch up with Digimon if I do plan to do it. Heck, it might even be when I get back to Batman or, like, after I've done, after I've eventually uploaded Crisis Core. It, it might be for months on end until that happens but I'm, i've been debating about it streaming to youtube and twitch but it would be the stream busters uk archive and then if i'm like you know what twitch is changing not for the not not in a good way unfortunately um and i feel like it might be worth moving back to youtube permanently we will but at the moment we'll, we'll stick to twitch for now but it, it's something i've been debating about just because twitch is kind of been getting worse and yeah i don't know i feel like i'm not really getting anywhere right um and just mixing it up right i'm thinking of just mixing things up just to, just to just to kind of see maybe youtube stream has gotten better i don't know um <laughs> i really don't know we'll see Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I really hate my luck here, man. It's, uh... You cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. Oh, well. So, that, that was, the, that was kind of the big thing, really, of what to talk about, is that, um, in the future, at some point, I'm debating about doing that. Um, I know some content creators are doing that. Um, I think it affects them a bit more though, because, uh, I'm talking about content creators who like, this is kind of their living and they're like, I know the whole like Twitch cut is, is a big deal for them because it's like, it, you know, they're taking so much now, right? The split that it's just like, man, YouTube just seems like it might be, might be better just to try YouTube, right? Um... Especially, I feel like, for those who... Most of their audiences are on YouTube, but they stream on Twitch, is what a lot of people do, which is what I was doing, right? Because I just thought Twitch was the better streaming platform, right? Um, but there are a lot of shit that goes on on Twitch that I don't like, um, that I wish just wasn't there, right? But it is what it is. Um, and, like, I was thinking, well, okay, if YouTube... If YouTube gets better maybe right um the lesser of two evils <laughs> yeah at the end of the day um for me it's all about the enjoyment for you and for me if i'm not having fun most likely you guys aren't gonna have fun unless you just want me to suffer then i mean i, I know i know some people do some people like to watch people get upset and angry and stuff um, but that's a little bit different. Um, 
if I'm just generally just like, I don't want to play this game anymore, you're probably not going to want to sit there and and, and and be like, oh, you know, just just push through, Jay. It gets better. You might enjoy it. Like, I don't think so, right? Unless, unless I'm playing, like, your favorite video game of all time and you're so desperate to get me to enjoy it that you're like, please, just, just maybe you'll like it after eight hours. Or something, you know what I mean? Like... <coughs> I feel like for your view and pleasure, you've probably already left. If you haven't already left already, because you've heard my obnoxious voice and you're like, I don't want to listen to this British twat. I'm out. It smells funny. <laughs> uh, although I'd be concerned if you could smell me through the mic, but I, I don't know. Technology. <laughs> Technology. But, um, you know. Bro, I'm going to max out on on stats never mind he's dead okay <coughs> i was gonna say man that was shit that was shit i'm re i'm really not happy with that gear I'm on run i can tell you that was bad that was very bad and unfortunately my my iron my luck and trying to learn something on the the thing I got one move though, didn't I, I think? I think I got like reverse prog. But considering how much time I put into training brains, I felt like that was kind of bad. Um, What do I want? What do I want? Because I don't have any like proper plan plans, so... I'll just do this for now. Mm, I could... I could try... I guess I could maybe get Coagamon and then try and get Hercules Carpeterium on. Because I failed last time. I could try that, I suppose. I don't know. Do I want to try and cater around the arenas? I probably should, really. But it really depends on... It really depends on... um What the arenas are at the time. Which I suppose is where Digivolution items usually come in, right? <clears throat> usually. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll maybe we will have to do some Digivolution items and some Devil Chips. Maybe maybe we have to start. Maybe we should start now. Um. Yeah. So I don't really care what I don't really care who I get here. Um. In terms of Agumon, or, like it doesn't really matter to me. Um, at this current time, it's fine. Whoever I get, um, like I said, a lot, a lot of Digivolutions kind of they share Digivolutions. A lot of Digimon that share Digivolutions anyway, so it's uh, you know, you know. Um, uh, for example, let's have a look here. So um, I've got two left for Ogamon. One of them is Monochromon. I know that. The other one, I'm not sure. It could be Dromojimon, but I don't think so. But it could be, um, but I don't think so. I know Gabamon is definitely definitely has Dromojimon, but I don't, I don't think that's Greymon. I'm trying to think. Is there another fire type that I'm? Is there another fire type that I am not thinking of with Greymon? I actually don't know. has to be a fire type and I actually can't Airdramon no Airdramon's not fire type is it no no I don't think so. or is it is Airdramon you know what it might be Airdramon maybe I'm trying to remember I know Airdramon does like wind moves I believe and electric moves I don't know what the other typing is though It might be. It might be like Bergemon. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what other type would it is it fire? Is it water? I actually don't remember. It might be Edgemon. If not, um I don't mean to do that. If not, it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll find out eventually. But um So I don't have it in card form, do I? <laughs> it would it like to be able to remind me. It might be Edgemon. I forget. I forget if he, if he, uh, if, if there's typing in fire. 
I didn't know. Um, okay. Maybe. Oh, Centaromon. Oh, yeah, that's who it is. That's right. I was like, I had Centaromon. No, I didn't. I did, but then I, I, I was like, that was when I was trying to get Greymon. I got Centaromon by accident. Gotcha. 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 And he digivolves into Andromon. Um, I don't know what else he digivolves into, but... Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Carboterimon's got two Digivolutions. So one's Hercules Carboterimon and the other one... What's the other one? Is that Mummymon? Or Metal Mummymon? I, I don't actually have Metal Mummymon. It might, might, be, might be one of them. I don't have either. I don't have Mummymon or Metal Mummymon. Um, I don't have Ninjamon. Either, because you can digivolve Digimon in this game, can't you? I'm trying to think, but I'm sure you can. Yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm debating on, honestly, trying to get Coagamon and try Hercules Carpeteriumon. Um. However. However, saying that, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I was thinking it would be nicer to just. Grab someone who can learn moves so I can, you know, I kind of, I kind of want to try and get Thunder Justice so bad, bro. Um, I need a, I need a Ghost Mom, wouldn't I? I kind of just want to have it. I'm not going to lie. Well, I don't... I, I, mm. Can I get Ghostmon? Actually, I think I'm... I think I, I think I might be able to. I think... I think there might... I think there's a... I think there might be a special condition where I can actually get Ghostmon. Um, you know what? If, if that is that... If, if I decide to do that, I'll have to look it up. Um... That's fine. Still got out all the filth moves. <laughs> yeah, I could do Nanny Mon. I don't really want to, but I'm going to have to do it eventually. <laughs> I don't really want to, but I'm going to have to do it eventually. When I, uh, as I get closer to, to like, um, I guess, maybe champion side, um, well, when I'm a Ricky, I suppose, I, I guess that's when I'll, um, have a look at what's going on with the tournaments and debate on whether I want to just give a Digivolution item and kind of call it a day. They don't get boosts, right? Digivolution items... I usually don't like them just because they don't give you stats. Um, cause it's like, Hey, you cheaped out on raising a Digimon. You kind of cheated sort of, even though they're like, Hey, you can use Digivolution items, but you don't get any benefits other than, I guess, Hey, I want to do this tournament right now that requires a specific Digimon or, or like, you know, like a, a specific type of Digimon. Um, uh, you know, and if I don't do this now, it's not going to turn up for like five days, right? So then you're like, Ugh. I'll give this item, I'll have to try and win the tournament, but my stats aren't going to be very good. So you've either, you, you know, you've either got to use chips or use devil chips or somehow manage to train up your stats to be good enough. Um, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Yada, yada, yada. But that's probably what we'll end up doing eventually, just to kind of speed things up, right? 
We've still got to do Digimon Curling at some point as well. <laughs> uh, I the, the only thing is I kind of wish that Digimon Curling took time, but it doesn't seem to. It doesn't pass the time. So I, I'm just going to have to do it eventually, right? I'm just going to have to do it. We'll, we'll have to have a de We might have to have a dedicated stream. Who knows? Depends on how bad I am. I am and I'm lucky I get. It's a Digimon curling stream. The the best Digimon curling stream that you've ever watched. You've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for it for so long. And now Jay has provided to your every need. Um okay. Can Kunimon Digivolve into Ghostmon? I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? I really need to. I really need to debate things, like what I want to do and stuff. I mean, God, there's no guarantee I'll get Kunimon anyway. But <clears throat> which, if I don't, then that's fine, right? That's absolutely fine. I'm not going to end a one. I don't even think they allow you to anyway. Because you've got an in-training Digimon. This is the Animal Cup. Yeah, see, I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to do that anyway. I can't. There's no there's no Ricky Digivolution items is there, so um <clears throat> I won't be able to do that. But um let's see. Is this the Wing Cup? No, this is that my Thunder Cup. I still can't do that either, can I? Unfortunately, he like he won't he he won't he won't be digivolving. For those who do like Thunder Thunder stuff, yeah. Atmospheric nature. Oh, yeah, nothing I can really do about that for now. Okay, I, I guess I guess we can just kind of go for Kunimon. You know, if there's a tournament right now, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I need tournaments for, for when I'm, you know, when I'm ready. But it doesn't really work out that way, right? So, so for now, we just have to sort of stay a course and then we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what to do then. But... The main goal is to try and get more arenas done. Because those are the big ones. Those those are going to be the majority of your medals. So. That's, that's what we want to do. Do as many arenas as we can. Let's get the rest of our stats up as well. Buff everything up. So I managed to play uh, a little bit more of Dragon Quest Heroes 2 for those of you who have been well I feel like probably probably only footloose but that's okay. Um yeah, I haven't really I haven't really gotten too far into the story. I kind of I progressed like bits and like little bits and stuff. I I got the the prince I've recruited him, which I knew was going to be playable anyway. <laughs> um He's he's quite fun. Um, I I quite enjoy his his gameplay. I, I do like the fact that his kind of whole gimmick is just he has a big ass sword that does damn big damage, um, and he can just channel like elemental attacks onto his blade, and they do different things. You know, you have like you have thunder, like lightning, fire, uh, and ice, and uh, and um, when he imbues himself with an element. Um, his triangle moves do different things, so that's fun. Um, yeah, I'm mean, I'm enjoying him. I'm still fairly enjoying Desdemona. She is obviously slow, but she's another sort of 
heavy, heavy hitter, hitter, hitter. Um, I unlocked the vocabs, which I wasn't expecting vocabs to be a thing uh, in Dragon Quest Heroes 2. Uh, I am I I know of vocabs because of nine Dragon Quest Nine and Dragon Quest Seven, and you can probably do this in other older Dragon Quest games, but I haven't played them yet. Uh, but I know you can in Seven and you can in Nine. Um, and honestly, the vocab is one of the things I did like in Dragon Quest Seven. Um, in my opinion, uh, I'm also grateful that Ruff have has like the breath attacks because that's pretty much what I did in, in Dragon Quest 7 it's just rough just had the breath attacks and he was great right just 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 all the breath attacks his breath attacks I'm pretty sure had like cost like zero MP and you can get like really powerful breath attacks and rough was set like he was set um that was the way I went I was just like just give him breath attacks and he's good you know, bringing all the all the damage from the breath attacks. Oh, okay. So you want to sleep? If we want to get Kunimon, we're gonna have to go to Kunimon's bed. We're gonna try and trigger it, which could happen. I'm pretty sure it could happen straight away, or it might not, and that's fine. But we'll we'll, we'll that's what we're gonna do. I think that's the plan for now. If we can get a Ghost Mon, we might do that. It's an interesting, interesting uh, title, King of Atmospheric Digimon. Apparently that's all to do with electric, apparently, I guess. There's uh, eight of them. <laughs> I think it might be the first time we've walked past them. It might not have been. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he just sells orange for banana. Which is his Digivolution item. And he sells it for like a ridiculous. Like a ridiculous price. I forget how much. But it's it's a rip off. It's a rip off. So it might be like 5,000 bit? No. No. More like 50,000 bits. It's something. It's, it's stupid ridiculous. I think it's more expensive. Than the training item. That. Oh he is Digivolving. Well there you go. I got it first try. Whoa. Nice. Um. Yeah, I think it's more expensive than the training item that Piximon gives you, which I think is 20k. It's like... Jesus, man. Jesus! Well, I already got Aetamon, so I don't need him again. Really. Yay, we got Kunimon again. <clears throat> nice. Let's have a look at your stats. Your stats didn't really actually go up, I guess. I thought your stats do go up. Even when you do this, maybe not. Oh, you know what? It's probably just because it's a rookie. Because his stats are already fairly high, I guess, for starting off as a rookie. So I guess that's fine. Maybe, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't think he counts as atmospheric. Because he's a bug. But he does have electric moves. Hmm. So, yeah, um, okay. I guess I'll look up and, and see about the ghost mon thing real quick. Um, and if not, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get Kawagamon to fill out the chart. And then get Hercules Carboteriamon to do the same thing. I like Hercules Carboteriamon. I like Kunimon. I have a Kunimon. Yeah. I'd actually like it if you did talk to... Um, a Digimon that you've recruited and you have the same Digimon. The only time you can do that, I know, is if you have your own Ghostmon. Um, he translates for you. Because you can't understand them otherwise. But that's it, right? <clears throat> Beastly. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So, alright. If you give me... Just give me a sec. And I'll go and do that. I actually didn't realize I had that open. Well, I don't think we've dropped any frames yet. That might change. 
my if my internet decides to play ball or not. Um, we are good, right? Yeah, okay. Um, so let's see. No, okay. Maybe there wasn't a special condition. I I, I thought there was. I thought maybe 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 if you maybe if a Digimon died, like like with with like um, Graham uh, not Graymon um uh, there are, <laughs> well I think you can do that with Graymon maybe for Skullgirl but like uh, Andromon or something, maybe not. Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for something and I don't remember. Okay, Kunimon, I mean, Kunimon can Digivolve into Ghostmon. But do I want to do that, or do I want to get Kawagamon? Because I could also use... Because I think... Okay. So, is Kunimon the only one who can Digivolve into Kawagamon? I need to know. Probably, right? I don't. Well, I can't find out from here, can I? Um. Well, ma maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, I don't know. Let me check. Um. I'm looking in the wrong places. Um. Hmm. I'm very confused. Huh. Okay. Nah, I guess there's no way for me to know. Um... I'd have to... Can be him on... No, Beamon can't. I assume no one can. No one else can, I assume. I don't know. Palmon? I oh, know Palmon could digit. Okay, Palmon could digit into Kawagamon. Okay. So it's not a total loss, I suppose. Um. Hmm. Um, okay. Well, let's see here. What do I need to do? So, so, so this works with Kunimon. Um. Hmm. Well, we'll try. It doesn't seem to be much to work with, believe it or not. We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. I'll, I'll try and follow with 2 bt That's what we'll do. Um. I suppose I might have to money grind. No, you know what? I don't think I want money grind. That's fine. Okay. Boop. Alright. I guess that's what we'll do. Screw it. We'll see what happens with tournaments um, as we go. But, um, but uh, yeah. I do have some ultimate, I think, uh, Digivolutions. Uh, I think I do. I might have... Uh, I, you know what? It might be too late already. It might be too late already. I don't know. Um, because I'm looking at my stats now, and it's like, I've kind of, I didn't really, I didn't really think through, um, let's see here, let me just double check here, uh, you know what, I don't know, I don't think I'll get Ghostmon as I am. I don't think so. 
No, okay. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I think I'll just go call Agamon. Yeah, okay. I think I'll have a better shot with that with with Ghostmon. I kind of I've raised a bunch of other stats and I I feel like I've given myself more require more, I feel like I've completed the requirements for like other digivolutions more than him so i'm more likely to get like a vegemon or something right so i'm thinking that it's probably best just to leave it for now i might have to plan it a little bit right do i you know what i'll just check i don't think i do i don't think i do but i'm gonna check something real quick I don't even know. No, there probably is. No, there is. There definitely is. Don't mind me. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> Yo, can... Can I just say... Does anyone... I don't know if anyone watches me. They sh Did anyone struggle with food? Because... Man. I know a lot of people do struggle with food. But... I guess for myself... It's really become a problem as I've gotten older. Because when I was younger, I didn't really put on weight. Really. Um, I just didn't. Right. Um, I was very... Uh, I kind of like high metabolism. But um, unfortunately... Uh, I, I feel like... 20s or at least mid 20s is when the pounds really started to pile on um and i can no longer be skinny whip it as uh, i used to be called skinny whip it um like you could see my ribs you can't see my ribs anymore nothing but fat <laughs> um and you know i want to lose weight for myself i want to be healthier in myself i want to be fit for myself but man lately i've like it's been hard like Sometimes I'll have a good relationship with food, right? Um, where I'm, I'm eating healthy, I guess, ish. Um, I would say healthy. I mean, like, good calories. Um, not, like, super big portions. You know, like, like plenty of veg. Uh, veg, protein, that sort of stuff. The only thing I probably need a bit more is fiber. Um, you know, trying to count the carbs, because I think that's a big problem for me. Um... And then another day I'll just, oh, I'll just eat crap. And, you know, it's like, it's easy to eat crap and it might taste all right. I mean, like, bad foods that just not, aren't good for you. And then there's just, just general crap food. Like, I'll eat something and, and it'll actually just generally be crap. And I'm like, I wasted my money. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's a bit, oh, man, I've been flip-flopping so hard. It's actually been quite difficult um, as of recently. Um, okay, so, yeah, I'm going to have to go for Quagamon here, so let's have a look here. Because you do get, you do actually get Digivolution items for winning the, uh, the tournaments, you see. Um, I don't know if it's always, but usually. Um. Especially, I believe, if you do uh, certain types. Um. I, uh, okay, I need five care mistakes at least. Um, I also need to do... I need to get my... Okay, I need to get my health up to at least a thousand. I'll get my MP up. There's Coagamon right there, you know. <laughs> He's right there. I know I'm feeding him and I need to make mistakes, but it's fine. We'll, we'll do it as we go. Um, I do actually need to get the weight up as well, you see. Um, but yeah, so even though ignoring food is definitely something, um, also need to consider the care mistakes. Okay. So we got that. So, so what's left? I think I just need a hundred speed, okay. Twenty five thirty five. Okay. 
So I guess you're not going to the toilet. I'm actually, I think I'm close to getting Sukumon. And I don't really want to get him. But I guess if I did, I might just use him. And then revert him back or something. <laughs> I mean, listen. If I can revert him back, to, like, if I could, like... Revert him back at the age of 12 or something. And then he digivolves into Her Hercules. That'd be great. But the thing is, I assume that if he if, if Kunimon were to digivolve into Sukumon now, he would go back to Kunimon. And I guess Kunimon would probably die. I've never seen him die of old age. But I was told apparently the rookies do die of old age. I've never seen it happen. So I figured you just can't... Like, it just couldn't happen. Because when you don't meet any requirements, you get Numamon. So I figured that's just what happens. You just get Numamon. But I guess the, the, the game has to consider that, hey, if if you've managed to keep your Kunimon, your, your rookie Digimon from not Digivolving past the age of like four, right? If they're still if they're still a rookie at the age of eight, I suppose the game's like, nope, you, you know, you're dying. I'm guessing. I don't know. And I never got around, I never remembered to go and check. Uh, myself, I forgot, so. So I'll have to take people's words for it. Alright, I'm gonna feed you here. We made one care mistake, gotta remember that. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I think that's a care mistake. Right, so I think that's it. It's just the weight and the care mistakes, right? Yeah, alright. I say, you can't learn it, can you? No, <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's fine. I didn't think so. And I'm pretty sure Coagamon, I don't even know if he has, he probably does have some wind moves. From the hmm. Now, I've made my decision. We're sticking with it, methinks. But I am going to have a look at the arena for now. Just kind of see, just keep an update on it all. So, yeah, so we might not actually do that many arena battles, even though I've titled it as. I mean, I want to. The intention is there. It's just, you know, I, I kind of need a, a, a decent Digimon because I don't want to keep failing them, you know, because I've been failing quite a lot, sadly. Um, that's still the animal cup. Yeah, that's still that. Version 3 cup. I don't know who's under that version 3 cup. But I can look it up. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to keep more of a list of things and then just kind of like, hey, this is kind of where I want to be type of thing you know luckily it's like i don't have to be a, a specific digimon it's just I, I usually have to be a specific type like you know there will be like s several digimon from this type or several digimon in this version that i can kind of pick from choose and i suppose if i had an ultimate i'd probably have the easiest time right if an ultimate's even in it um, in that sense. So there's nothing else for me to really do here. Is there right now? Just kind of making mistakes and such. So hopefully we'll get. Coagamon. Um, but it won't be for a few days. A few in-game days. At least. So. So yeah. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll we'll try and waste our time as best we can. I think we'll probably just have to just have to battle, I guess, and battle and rest and such. I don't want to go too crazy with the stats as of right now. But yeah, man, I've been struggling with food as of late. <laughs> I really just, I want to like consistently just be healthy and like eat healthy and um, keep exercising. I, I, I've been, I've been keeping my, my, my sort of like my little walks up. So, which I guess is better than nothing, right? I did something, right? It's like, oh, hey, I, I 
I did a little something today. It's better than nothing. Um, I'm hoping that I'll build myself up and I will do a lot more and spend more time. Spend a bit more time doing more exercise. I should probably give you something else. Um, what I want to give you. I guess I'll give you that. I really probably shouldn't give you. Um, I guess I'll give you Electric Cloud. I'll run out of MP fast if I give you Mid Glow Spark. Hey, it's my brother, Green Kunimon. I used to call him Kanimon. <laughs> Listen, and as people explain to me, I don't know. I used to call, because I never heard of, because I never knew what an ogre was, I used to call him Ogreamon. Leave me alone. Look, I was seven. I never heard of the name ogre at the age of seven back in 90s. Did you? Because I didn't. The Shrek wasn't a thing. The Shrek movie didn't even come out until <laughs> like 2000s. <laughs> So, yeah. And I mean, I don't know how anyone's supposed to know about um, that fish that I call Coca-Cola. If you're playing this as a kid, this is supposed to be a kid's game. You really think they're going to know what that is? Do I look like a finish, f finished? Do I look like a fisherman to you? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not some sort of encyclopedia on fish? Nah. No, I ain't. No, sir. Ow! Why is the green Kunimon bodying me? I should have better stats. Am I actually going to have to use an MP? Oh, my God. No. Uh, not an MP. I don't know. Well, medium recovery. What is this? I'm poisoned. Bro, he's got like 200 HP. What's happened? <laughs> yeah, get him. This is nonsense. <sighs> oh dear. Um, I guess I won't give you food. I guess. To make a care mistake. Gotta le I gotta make at least five. At least five. Five at minimum. Also, it'd be nice to not feel tired all the time, but I swear I only feel tired when I stream. <laughs> so I guess streaming's making me tired. Probably. Talking too much. I suppose something gaming related. I did watch the trailer for FF16. And although I'm, I'm not like the biggest Final Fantasy like fan, I would say. Um, I kind of wish I was, but I, I'm just not really. Um, it looks interesting. I think my, my only... Like, it, look, it looks way more like a Devil May Cry game, if I'm honest, right? It looks very combo-driven. And I actually... See, I thought it was going to be like... I thought it was going to be like an action battle system sort of thing. But I didn't... It seems like it's going to be more one-player focused than I initially thought. I thought we were going to have a party. But it seems like it's mostly going to just be the main character and his dog companion. And when I saw this, I was like... Oh, shoot. You know, I always wanted to play as Rufus from FF7. Because that's basically what that is. Like, Rufus and his dog. I was like, yo. And, yeah, and, and, and the dog does things for you. The dog heals you. And I was like, yo, this is literally just Rufus and his dog. Like, give me, yeah, like, give me dog combos. That'd be amazing. T like, co-op dog combos. Yes, please. Yes, please. Like, I, I was watching this, uh, w watching the fight. Um, that they were showcasing off. And at one point. 
the dog, I swear, straight up does a wrestler move. And I'm like, how the hell did that dog do that? Like, what the hell am I looking at? This is insane. Like, like the main character's like, you know, like attacking and then, and then like it sort of switches to the dog attacking. Um, and then eventually it just ends with the dog like jumps bites the uh, the boss fight's face literally spins around like literally is holding onto the face spinning them around and then tosses them like you have to understand the amount of jaw power that that dog has to grab on to someone's face and then literally swing its body around turning the turning the character turning the enemy around it it's in it, it, it looks ridiculous again it looks like the dog did a wrestling move with its mouth it's like how the f how did they do this also hello footloose we're just talking about um ff16 like i'm looking at this i'm like this is insane and the thing is right it's funny how i was like this looks like a wrestler move apparently um part of the staff was saying that they kind of wanted to integrate a wrestling, so wrestling related stuff within the combat. So there you go. We've got a wrestling dog. Don't ask me how that works. But apparently, some of some of the people, some of the staff members, like, yeah, we we want to we want to put in some uh, wrestling stuff because uh, even um because I for I for <laughs> I forgot that you have essentially kaiju battles in FF16 where you you fight as the uh as the summon um and yeah a lot of the moves in in there were very wrestling moves and I guess that's where it comes from they 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 want to implement wrestling moves in a final fantasy game and I don't know how to feel about that <laughs> it's like I, I I wasn't expecting final fantasy x wwe or whatever but sure, all right. <laughs> um, the, the only downside that I saw so far with the trailer, because um, the voice acting's fine, don't have a problem with it. Um, I kind of like the the characters are all right um, from what I see. Um, <laughs> um, I think I think uh, Square opened the floodgates potentially with another female character that that uh people are probably gonna potentially simp and no she's covered bro no she's not doing some crazy cami stretch no she's not showing her midriff and doing like a tifa stretch and she's got bosoms or something like that no she ain't scarlet or uh, i don't know to be from near no none of that this girl's fully clothed. It's her posture. The way she puts herself forward. I'm not saying she's trying to be a certain way. But you just know. You just know. I was watching someone's reaction. And, this, and he was just like constantly telling this chat to calm down. <laughs> she's like, chill. Um, she seems very sort of bayonetary in, in the way she presents. Well... Not in the way she presents herself, but the way she just, she talks, right? Like she seems to enjoy like a beat, like giving obedience and like beating down her opponent. She's like, "Oh, I'm gonna have fun enjoying you." Like the type of enemy that's gonna that's gonna literally lick their hands or lick their lips, and you're like, "Um, I'm gonna go over there now." Or the simps are gonna be like, "Mommy." So yeah. <laughs> And she's fully clothed in everything. Nothing crazy like that. It's just her posture and the way she acts. I swear. I think companies just know. I think companies just do it. They know. They're like, look. Sex appeal works. Right? And there's different types of sex appeal. Women don't have to be nude or boys and that. I talked about this before. And I think they know. I think they're picking up on it. They're like, look, we need we need the characters that are clearly gonna get people to play these games. But um Anyway, it was a cool boss fight that I watched. I I actually think the the, the particle effects in the game I think is too much. Uh that's like the only thing I would say. 
from what I saw in the trailer. It seems, it seems it sort of feels like there's so much going on that I'm sort of like I'm not I can't really properly focus on what what's what I'm seeing because it just feels like there's too many particle of particle effects going on. Um and like the trailer didn't do itself any favors because the trailer was was pretty much in like a very dark area that you couldn't see very well. And yet I feel like the only time you could see was when like you were near like a like a like a lit torch. Or like when you were attacking and there were particle effects coming off your attacks. And and, and there and then I was like, there's so much particle effects that I almost feel like it's too much. Right? I actually think it's too much. So that's probably like the only thing I would say so far from what I've seen from FF16. But I mean, it's it's through and through. It seems to be a for the most part a single player action game. If anything, it it it's like an action game with RPG elements, right? It's not. It's definitely not a turn based RPG. It's it's a little bit more like I say, sort of Final Fantasy VII remake. And I guess it's I think 15, 15 wasn't turn based, was it? Um, maybe a bit of thirteen as well. Um. Because you, you even stagger the opponent, which I believe is a Final Fantasy 13. Yeah, I think you stagger opponents in 13 and 15. Um, and then they, they brought it to Remake. And they're bringing it to 16 as well. So, um, yeah, it's definitely more sort of DMC combo thingy. So, I probably would like it. I probably would enjoy it, right? Because I, I, enjoy my, I enjoy my, you know, build up combo, big damage type stuff. Make you wonder why I don't play fighting games, but it's just because I'm bad at them. But um, you know, I play, I play, I play those games, right? <laughs> I like that. Like building up my combos in in God of War and, and and various other games, and any of the Warriors games, like the Dynasty Warrior games, or like Hyrule Warriors, and your combos and stuff like that. Dragon Quest Heroes, building up my combos and that, right? Um, so I probably would enjoy it, just particle effects are, are a bit too much, I think. Um, and I don't know how to feel about the kaiju battles. They do seem very slow paced, but I get that's kind of the point of kaiju battles. It might take me out of it a little bit, but I don't know. It, it, I guess it depends on how often it happens. Um, because in Bayonetta, it, it, it happens. It, Bayonetta 3, it pretty much ha pretty much happened at like the end of the chapter, like almost every time. But it was kinda different, right? It was it was different. And they, they did say that the kaiju battles would be different. It won't always be like a wrestling match or something like that. It will be different. Which is good. Because I wouldn't want to do the same thing over and over again, if I'm honest. Like you need you need to change it up, right? You need to change it up. So but I mean, it, it it legit does like put it this way. I'm more interested in FF16 than I initially was. I wasn't sure how to feel about it because again, I have a very love hate relationship when it comes to Final Fantasy. Um, like I said, Crisis Call was the first Final Fantasy Final Fantasy game that I just generally liked and beat. Um, and then Remake was just the next game that just kind of blew everything out of proportion. Where I was just like, holy fuck, why do I love this game so much? I don't know, but I do. Um, which makes me want, want more. But it also makes me think, well, maybe I should go back and give other Final Fantasy games a chance again, right? Um, or maybe I'm just more into the modern, the modernized games. I, I don't know. I I'm, I'm really don't know. Um, but I say Final Fantasy is just kind of that series where I, I want to enjoy it, but I feel like I play the game and then after several hours, I put it down and I never go back to it. And it can't be a coincidence because I just, I, I this is when I was growing up, I kept doing it. I don't know. Maybe my interests have changed now, right? Because I haven't really gone back to those games since I was a teenager. So... Maybe I'll finish 10 this time. Maybe I'll finish 12 this time. Those are the games I have I've actually played but never finished. Uh, same as 7. I feel like I have to I have to finish 7 at some point, don't I? I have to. With like Rebirth and that. Well, I don't have to. But I, I kind of feel like 
I should to really appreciate it for myself at least to give it another try and I will do eventually I'm not saying I'm going to stream it I'm just saying that at some point I will I will try and give FF7 another chance the original game um again it's not the same as remake it's a different experience same characters but it's a different experience like it just is and I don't mean because you've got the entire game I mean like the gameplay and such um and and its presentation and everything um is is completely different right it, it's a it, it's different so it's not it's not the same right in that sort of sense uh so yeah we're still just trying to kind of waste time here so we can uh digivolve that's pretty much how it goes um i don't have like a coagamon item um I don't know any other way to get a Coagamon item. If you can even get one. You probably can somehow. I don't, I don't actually know how. But you probably can somehow. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll do it this way. We'll do it the legit way. That's fine. Um, I just want to speak to you. And stuff. Mm, okay. I was just, oh, okay. Alright. What does N mean? <sighs> Time restricted match for top version 4 Digimon. That's like in a few days. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, um, other than that, I'm trying to think, um, yeah, um, I guess in terms of Dragon Quest Heroes too, yeah, um, I'm not sure what to do with the vocab system just yet, because I'm, I'm just starting, um, they say I'm a warrior at the moment, and I'm like, I kind of want to just see what you get for being a warrior, and then maybe I'll switch vocabs right like just experiment um see what you get i mean that, that's kind of what i did with dragon quest 9 and 7 i kind of just switched i kind of just had different vocabs and see what i got because in 9 you have the main character and then you actually kind of just 9's an interesting game because for all intents and purposes it's a it's it's a one player it's all it's for all intents and purposes it's a one player party game what I mean is, is that you have the hero and then you recruit generic characters and you can choose to recruit up to, you know, up to three. So you have a, a party of four, but you can have, you could do it on your own. I don't know if anyone's actually soloed the game on your own, but I'm pretty sure you probably could. Like, maybe if you just grinded the max level, you might be able to solo the game without any other party members. Uh, yeah. So, in that sort of sense, you've got, like, n no one, like, none of your party members talk. The hero doesn't talk because he's the hero. Um, it's just the CPUs that talk to you, right? The CPUs talk to you, um, and they talk to each other. But since, you know, heroes in Dragon Quest games are silent protagonists, you don't get any of that, right? And your party members are silent protagonists as well. Because they're just generic people. Like, you literally, you go to the recruitment place and you basically choose like like do you want a martial artist do you want a mage do you want um a cleric or whatever and then there you go and you choose if you want and it's it's customizable as well you can choose if you want them to be male or female you can choose what hair they have what color um but you know they are just generic create a character right they don't talk or anything They're, so you're just creating more heroes um so yeah it, it's it's kind of interesting that sort of scent right um you do have the fairy girl but she's not a party member but one when, when you do when you meet her stella yeah that's it when you meet stella um 
she does like talk to you and stuff, but she's she doesn't fight. She's not in your party in that sort of sense, right? She is with you through most of the game, though. When you meet her, you don't immediately meet her, but when you do eventually meet her, um, she tends to just stick with you throughout the entire game. So there is that. She doesn't fight or anything like that. Man, and Dragon Quest Nine. I mean, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of like, um, sort of sadness and um you know very sort of downer moments in dragon quest games a lot of people see like the the very cartoony characters and they probably think oh this is this ain't final fantasy or something this ain't as deep you know this isn't like dark like maybe some other maybe darker rpgs like dragon age or something like that but that's not to say that these games don't have their moments you know i mean my favorite dragon quest game has many people die <laughs> Well, I should say, like, you know, certain people, these sages are brutally murdered um, by Dormagus and that. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure when Ratform's castle appears, I'm pretty sure a bunch of people dies from, a bunch of people die from that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they do. Um, there is a lot of death. Um... <sighs> You know, there is a lot of death and a lot of sadness. Dragon Quest Nine has a lot. Has a lot of, like, just sad shit, man. Like, I mean, the theme of Dragon Quest Nine, in all intents and purposes, really, it's just kind of... It's, it's about just kind of life and death, really. It's life and death. That's kind of the theme of the game. It's life and death, right? That's the theme of Dragon Quest Nine. Um, Because you are... For all intents and purposes, you are an angel in Dragon Quest Nine, and although you are an angel, you're also kind of a, I guess, kind of a grim reaper in the sense that you have to, you have to like any spirits that aren't moving on to the next life, you're there to make sure they do. So you're sort of a grim reaper in that sort of sense, but you're an angel and you're able to see spirits because you're an angel, and. You basically have, like, if there's anyone you see who's troubled, you're technically obligated, I suppose, because that's just your role of an angel, to help that spirit move on. Um, and you do that throughout the entire game. So there's so much just like, hey, look at all these people that are dead and you have to help their spirits move on. But it's quite sad. And yeah, you do meet people that aren't dead, but then they do eventually die, and, and you're like, shit, that's quite sad. There are definitely some sad moments, um, you know, definitely some sad moments in that game, where you're like, shit, like, this game's heavy, right? And, and Dragon Quest is pretty heavy as well, that's a heavy game, um, that's a, ooh, you get, you, you, you get to the second half of Dragon Quest... 11 and i'm like damn like the fact that i mean footless will know the fact that you get to the second half of dragon quest 11 and the hero starts crying you know shit ain't good i don't remember i haven't played a dragon quest game where the hero breaks down crying bro like he for all intents and purposes, he's just a young lad who doesn't really know what the fuck he's doing in Dragon Quest Them. Like, let's be honest, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's got these mystical powers, he doesn't know how to tap into them. He basically fails. Everyone fails in that game. And the dude just kind of breaks down and fucking cries. Like, I I kind of bully him. I kind of bullied him for a while, but I did feel bad. When he started crying, I'm like, this this kid doesn't know what he's doing he's just kind of been thrown into this role and it's like i do feel bad for him i do legit feel bad for him but he he does get redeemed he does get redeemed but um yeah like no there, there are definitely some darker moments in dragon quest um you know but he's not like I still I, I mean I wouldn't say he's like the best hero or anything personally. But I like the game, but the hero isn't like the reason why I'm like he's not one of the like my favorite characters or anything. It has no it has like zero personality. The problem is Footloose is that you can 
somewhat say that to a lot of silent protagonists a lot of people a lot of people will say that link has zero personality a lot of people would disagree with that and be pretty upset that someone would say that but i know there are people that are like link in the legend of Zelda doesn't have any personality because link never talks link is a silent protagonist it's always been a silent protagonist but that's not true there are some links that that express themselves better right um and i think i, I think i said this before I have no problems with silent protagonists, but they need to ex. I, they you need to find other ways for them to be expressive to show that they have personality, because otherwise they just kind of become robotic. There's like there's no life here, right? Um, that that's that's how I see it personally. I I want to see a character be expressive. If you're not gonna have them talk, right? I don't want to sit there and have a character who's just staring into space while facing someone. They're talking to them and it looks like they're talking to them, but you don't really know that they are. And it kind of feels like they're just kind of talking to a wall. And it's like, I need to know some way or form that the, that the hero is expressing himself, right? In some shape or form, right? Otherwise, what's, like, I don't know. It just kind of feels boring, if not, right? I've lost interest, right? I want my characters to have personality. Make me care about this character. And I didn't really care about the character much at all. But the only, but the, I did appreciate that he does kind of get better, I guess you could say, right? Quote, unquote. I say better in terms of like end game when it's like oh we've gone through the entire game pretty much it's like oh, <laughs> I was a bit late but okay um you know yeah I, I just think it's difficult it's difficult to connect to a pro tag that either is just like not relatable doesn't express themselves right I always say this my favorite link is Wind Waker Link because he doesn't talk, but he doesn't need to because he's super mega expressive in that game. Like some of his faces are absolute meme worthy, <laughs> like absolute meme worthy. Um, and I I want to say I want to say that um, I think it might have been like. And even like an, an, an official Nintendo, not been Nintendo of America, or I think they had like um, one of those posts where they say, "What's your mood like today?" And it's just Wind Waker Link's many expressions. Are you number one, Link? Are you number two? Because he has so many freaking expressions that is very meme worthy, right? Um, but that, but that's that's what I love about him, right? He doesn't need to talk. I know how he is feeling about his sister being kidnapped. I know how he feels towards Ganon. I know how he feels towards the king, towards Tetra. Um you know, towards his towards his granny. You know? I know when he's hurt, and I don't just mean physically, like when you can tell he's been through the ringer. Like, he's super expressive. Um, and, you know, that's what I want to see in a character, right? Give him per... Give the character personality. Give him or her personality. You know? That's what I want to see personally, anyway. That's, that's me, right? That's, that's, that's me. I don't know if we, I don't think we've made five care mistakes. So I think I might have to, uh, uh, what's your weight? What's your weight? Your weight is, okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. Let's shove this. In. Like, even Dragon Quest 8 Hero has more personality than 11. And 
as much as I like eight, I wouldn't say he's the best pro tag either. Like best son of, but yeah. You know, but I mean, I don't know. I haven't played all the Dragon Quest games, and to be fair, the old ones are just sprites, so I can understand they can't exactly express themselves very well with sprites. They they can sometimes, right? I know, like Final Fantasy VI does actually a pretty good job to express sprites, but but um. Yeah, no. That that's just kind of the heroes of Dragon Quest, I guess. They never really are. Unless you count Dragon Quest heroes, right? Because Dragon Quest heroes characters talk. They're not silent protagonists. They actually talk. Um and I think it's the only I'm pretty sure it's the only game that has the the, the heroes talk, right? The heroes, because it's always it's always well, I've noticed, obviously, the first game is two. I, I realize that the second game is two. Um, you know, play as boy or play as girl. Um, they're not silent protagonists. They talk. Um, and I I doubt they'll ever give us a mainline Dragon Quest game where the, where the character uh, talks. That would be like making Link talk all of a sudden. And I still find it weird hearing Zelda talk to me, I'll be honest. And everyone talking to me in the game, in Breath of the Wild. Like, I know I'm late to the party with that game. But it took me a I had to get used to Zelda talking and the voice. Because I weren't, I weren't sure about the voice. Um, like, no offense to the voice actor. I don't know who voiced Zelda. But I wasn't initially a big fan on the voice they had with her. I was like, mm, I don't know if I like this. I... I I've, I think I'm okay with it now. I'm a lot better with it now. But um, I, I guess that's just something I had to get used to. Dragon Quest heroes are likable. Sure. Kinda. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Footloose. When I think of Dragon Quest heroes, I am thinking of the ca main characters either. <laughs> if I'm honest. I'm more thinking about the other characters. Like, I probably care more. I'd probably be more interested in Isla. And the king in Dragon Quest Heroes, personally. And so far, I, I think I like Desdemona more than the heroes. So, uh, and the prince, just because he's fun to play. But, I don't know. M maybe maybe I'll like them more, the more I play them. Um, they, just, they just feel a bit kind of generic. They just feel like kind of generic hero-y characters. I don't know. Hey, we got a cousin's relationship. So... I don't know. Just feels a bit, 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 bit generic for my liking. Um, but maybe I'll warm up to them. I mean, hey, they've got personality. I'll give them that. They've got more personality than than other Dragon Quest characters, right? So I mean, I'll give them that. But I'll give them that. But that's about it. <laughs> So far, anyway. Like, I don't hate them or anything. I just, I just think they're okay. That's about it, right? I don't, I don't feel either raw. I don't, I don't feel either raw about them. And, and, and I mean, I'm talking both Dragon Quest Heroes and Dragon Quest Heroes 2. But, you know, maybe I'll like Dragon Quest Heroes 2 Heroes more the more I play it. Because I'm, I'm super early on, as I say. Like I say, I've only just gotten the prince, and I'm st I'm still currently going through the wildwood, so I'm still very very early on. Um, I'm still figuring the game out. I'm still, you know, rem trying to remember how to play the game, <laughs> um, and all that. You know. I actually kind of like some of the some of the monster metal directions. Uh, I got to the point where you had to use a uh, a bubble slime because the bubble slime's ability actually just gave you poison protection, and I don't think it did that in the first game. And I thought, ooh, that's neat. Monster metals that give you potential like protection from certain statuses or something, that's, so you can like walk over terrain. That's cool. I don't think they've done that before. Um, so that's that's an interesting idea, right? I was like, oh, okay. What is this? Nature. Okay. Nature. Oh, could I do this maybe? Well, I'm not as Kunimon. There's no way. But 
Well, I don't think I'm going to digivolve in time anyway, but who knows? Even then, I'm not really sure I'd be prepared, prepared. But, yeah. <sighs> also, I'm, I'm going to guess, but it seems like... Um, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, but it seems like Dragon Quest Heroes 2 is gonna be a longer game than Dragon Quest Heroes. It, it, like, they talked about seven realms, and I'm thinking, well, if we go to all of these realms, it feels like this game's probably gonna be way larger, or bigger, much bigger than the first one. I could be wrong, though, I don't know, it might be around the same length. But it seems like it to me, anyway. It seems like it's gonna be a... A much longer experience of playing this game, which is fine. That's 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 fine. Well, I mean, if you're introducing vocabs, I can only assume it's got to be at least decent length. If they're introducing vocabs, and I don't even know if we're talking about like, I don't know how deep the vocab system goes. Is it Dragon Quest Seven, Dragon Quest Nine deep? I don't know, but I'm gonna assume it probably is. You know, can I, can I raise my, can I raise my warrior, my warrior and my mage and unlock paladin? You know, how deep does it go? Can I unlock champion? Is it champion? I think it's champion. Um, yeah. I will find out though. I will find out. Um. Yeah, I'll fight this bait on real quick. I'm just wasting time. I'm just kind of trying to waste time here anyway. So, I was debating on whether to stream a bit longer, but I'm tired, if I'm honest. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll stop I'll stop feeling tired on stream and I'll, and I'll try and stream a bit longer, but I've been I've been wanting to to try and just get try and put more time into this game to you know, to speed things up and, you know. Sometimes 2 hours doesn't seem like quite enough but it is what it is you know you ain't got the time or you ain't got it in you to do it you ain't got it in you to do it. i ain't gonna i ain't gonna like push myself or force myself you know i could do i could do with a good sleep i feel like <laughs> you know i'm a tired no i'm not gonna do that cooney mom will get squashed i mean you didn't see it footloose but um, Giramon obviously died. Uh, I tried doing a tournament. I tried doing like a, an, I think an A ranked ultimate tournament, and uh, I had to fight um, fake Giramon. Fake Giramon won because I ran out of MP. Oh, <laughs> uh, so that sucked. So yeah, and he didn't learn any moves, right? I got his, I got his brains to like nine hundred forty nine, and the dude refused to learn any more machine moves it sucks i am struggling in terms of moves bro i am struggling and like i think the only other i want to say the only other like maybe mummy mon but i know like metal mummy mon i think might be the only like the only like last slash main one left out of the ultimates i haven't gotten that could learn machine moves so, oh boy, I am a legend though, it says so. <laughs> also, we did talk about at the beginning about in the future um, of, of the, uh, I'm thinking about streaming to youtube again we're uh, while i'm while i'm streaming to twitch at the same time in the future not like near future just at some point maybe um and and potentially maybe eventually migrate once again to youtube but that's again that's just this is all hearsay talk at the moment but just know that i've been thinking about it that's about it that's all i can really say I have been considering it. Giramon lost a fake mon. No, no, it's not. It's not good. 
No. I don't have my my um soundboard up, so I can't I can't play you a Sonic. Boop. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna. Sorry, <laughs> just making sure I at least get five cameras today. So we are, we are, we are ignoring appetite. I am, I am sorry, but not really. So hopefully we'll be all right. We'll see. We shall see. I'm sorry. Now the question is, if I did enter a tournament as a Ricky and I digivolved, would, well, would it still let me in if I'm at the same type? Or would he, I'm curious. I know if you die, um, you lose it. So I don't know. J, SSJ. So I could do this. I could actually do this, but... I'm not gonna win. I'm not gonna win, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna win, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm aiming for Coagamon. Um, I could... I'm not gonna win, but... I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> um... There's no way I'm going to win with, with these stats. But, um... I was going to go for Ghostmon. But I decided to go to Coagmon. Because I, I felt like it was going to be more difficult to get Ghostmon. Because of, I already kind of... Got the requirements for, for, for like, other Digimon. So I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'll get Ghostmon anyway. So I'll, I'll just stick with Coagmon for now. And then we'll, we'll, we'll probably try and get her Carboterimon just to complete the chart you know just to unlock that um we'll see where we go <clears throat> again we're just we're just doing it because i mean we're just trying to complete the chart right we, we'd like to do some tournaments if we can but we are just trying to complete the chart yeah i mean i'm 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 not going to use megalo spark <laughs> i ran out of mp so quick so i ain't doing that <laughs> Nah. Kunimon, the ultimate underdog. You know, it would be funny if I won. It would be funny. I don't know how the hell I would with these stats, but it would be funny. It would be funny. What do I want? I want your soul. Give it to me now. Yes. Give me your soul. Ow. I was debating on whether to give him Danger Sting. I was debating about it. Yeah, even before he digivolves before the tournament, and then um, I, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> But, it, but hopefully I can, because then I'll have a, a champion, and that'll be good. That'll be good. All right, just to make sure, just make sure I'll make the cut fight. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I want to say, this, this will make 5k mistakes at minimum. I'm sorry, I'm about to drop another poo in your, in your medical center. <laughs> I, just, I just like how the poo just stays there. Like, it just, it won't go away. It will stay there forever. Unless, like, one of the filth Digimon eat it. And that's just gross, bro. That's disgusting. It's like a dog eating the poo. Ugh. Bro. No. <laughs> like, why? Why would you do this? Alright. Why would you do this? No, thank you.
Oh, and suddenly I need a toilet. But it's not for a quick one, unfortunately. So I kind of, I kind of want to, kind of want to wait. I want, I want to wait. We're, we're almost done with the stream. So I kind of want to see if I can hang on. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I've been at this so many streams, guys. There's got to be a lot of bit of insanity, right? As much as I like this game, I've been at it for a while. I am kind of just repeating myself, right? Rinse and repeating. I mean, that's... That is the whole point of the game. That is what you do. You are raising a Digimon. It dies. You raise a Digimon. That dies. In between that time, you battle, right? You recruit, and then when you're done that, you know. Yeah, we should be. We should be good. We should be good. Hopefully. In before I don't get Coagamon, but if I don't, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna harp on it. Just at least give me some. At least give me someone I haven't had before. If I don't get Coagamon, you know. That's all I'll say. But I'm gonna have to get Coagamon anyway, eventually, right? It all has to be done. All has to be completed. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping I'd be done by March, but honestly, that's on me. That is 100% on me. I, like, that's my fault. So, you know, if I want to pick up the pace, I need to pick up the pace, right? That's as simple as that. That really is as simple as that. I need to be the one to do that. Now, hopefully tomorrow, I'll finally be able to, fingers crossed, return... My French copy of Dragon Quest Heroes, yeah. I haven't, I haven't been able to do it because, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm tied up in the week. And, and, and the only chances I, I can actually usually do anything is um, is on the weekend. As long as my dad isn't busy working. If my dad's busy working, I'm tied up again. Um, and he's been working a lot lately. So, unfortunately, I haven't really... Like, you, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um... You gotta help the family, you know. I, I could be an absolute cunt of a son and just be like, nah. But I just ain't got it in me to do that. So, um, you know. And I know he's got a bit of work tomorrow, but that shouldn't be all day, I, you know. I haven't told him yet that I need to actually nip out, but I, I actually need to return this, so... Um, hopefully tomorrow, when I get the chance, I'll return this damn thing, and fingers crossed, everything will go alright, and I'll get my money back. <laughs> and then I can put that whole thing behind me. Christ. Because that's what I want to do. Put it all behind me. <clears throat> and that can go towards Bayonetta 3, I guess. Not Bayonetta 3, Bayonetta Origins, I guess, when it comes out. In a couple of weeks. But we won't talk about what else is going to happen in a couple of weeks. We won't talk about that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I like how we both... I like how we both were doing like the same movement animation. At the same time, same pace and everything. <laughs> It was in sync. It was great. <laughs> it reminds me of those shady characters from FF7 Remake. For some reason, they have, like, like the same walk cycle. And they just walked in sync. And it just it looks freaking hilarious. I don't know. It's funny, man. It's funny stuff. It's funny stuff. Um, speaking of funny stuff, uh, the princess move that's called Bazoom. I don't even know really what it's all about. But I do find it hilarious that he just kind of grabs the monster and the monster gets stuck in an idol animation and, and then he just tosses them. I'm like, what the fuck is this move? It's just so funny. You, you, you essentially freeze frame a monster with that ability. They could be doing anything and you just freeze frame and they're just stuck like that. And I'm like, what? 
That was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. When I discovered that, I was like, okay. All right. The zoom is a weird move. I, to be honest, I don't even know what it does. I don't even know if it's doing damage. It's just like it's just throwing. It's just like force. You're for like using the force to freeze the opponent and then tossing them somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. There's, you know what? I like. I've only just started, and it does feel like there's a lot. Definitely a lot more like like abilities and spells in this game. Well, as I say, vocabs are in this game, so. There's definitely a lot more to it, right? Like a lot more. For sure. I can tell. I can tell. Alright, I think I can let Kunamon go to the toilet. <laughs> but I can't let myself go to the toilet. Not until the stream ends. Sad face. Oh, you know what? He might not digivolve. We'll, 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 we'll have time to do the tournament. Which will we'll probably get jobbed immediately anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> um, and yeah, maybe I could use a Digivolution item and then stuff myself with chips, but I just don't really want to do that right now. Not right now. Not at this moment in time. Not at this moment in time. It's easier when you're doing this yourself uh, in your own time, but a little bit more difficult with streaming, you kind of have to, I feel like you have, kind of have to prep it up a bit, you have to prep a bit, um, beforehand, right, set yourself up and such, give me your meat, see, when I think about it, I'm talking, I was talking about diet and health, but, like, I'm, like, is this, is this diet of, of sirloin steak every day for the Digimon good, I don't know, I don't know, man, don't give him anything else, I don't know. Is it good? Is it healthy? Well, I mean, you can say, well, they're digital creatures. It's fine. I guess I don't need to be healthy. I don't know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Also, we're going to be late for the tournament, so I don't even know if they'll let me in, but we'll see. They should do, but... I, I, I swear I've been late. I swear I've been too late to a tournament. I swear I have. Because I can't enter now. Right? I'm pretty sure I cannot. Um, it's too early. Because unfortunately Kunimon kind of sleeps through the, the day. Which is when the tournament begins. But that's, you know, certain Digimon's nature. I'm pretty sure Greymon will be like, it's not time yet, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to sleep right here. Right here. You see me, Greymon? I'm going to sleep right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's how eager I am. I know. I I I know. Do I want to change anything? No. This is what we're going with. We're not going to win anyway. Let's have a laugh. This is what we'll probably end of anyway. And I can then I can go to the toilet myself and, and go to go to sleep. Any ultimates? Oh, there's one and it's Giramon. <laughs> so even if I somehow manage to best a champion, I'd have to get past Giramon. Yeah, fucking right. As a rookie. Maybe if I had crazy stats, but the only way I'd have crazy stats is if I stuffed them with chips. Wild. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Nope. I would at least... I would need at least a decently powerful champion to stand a chance. Yeah, Giramon would, would just be like, nah. <laughs> nope. No, no, no. This ghost mon's gonna, gonna wreck my day. Eventually, I'll need to get him. Um, you know, and I can, hopefully I'll get Thunder Justice then. Please. Stop. <laughs> Bonk. Oh my god, he has Thunder Justice! What? Oh, that's just, oh, well, well, food, yeah, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that, that's, that's, that's GG's. Right? That's GG's. That's GG's. Great. He's got the move that I want so badly. 
Like the best move in the game. <laughs> Katie Bond's trying to get away so badly. I'm sorry, buddy. Unfortunately, it was just bad time, and I didn't really want to do this right now. Um, I just did it for a laugh, really. Uh, plus, it does waste time. It does waste time. Even even if I failed, it does it does waste time. You lost immediately. All right, moment of truth. Is it going to be Coagamon or is it going to be someone else? Just please don't give me someone I've I've already had. But hopefully, hopefully, if I've done everything correctly, it'll be Coagamon. Oh, oh, we got the wrong one. Uh, this is a problem. Did I not make enough? Uh oh. Yeah, this is not what we want. Uh, I think that's gonna have to be a reset. Sadly. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, where did I go wrong then? Wait, hang on. Stay below one care mistakes. There's no way. You're telling me that with all the care mistakes I did, I stayed below one care mistakes, which is what you need for Carbotariumon. No fucking way. No fucking way. I, I was above one care mistake. I was... No way. No way. What nonsense is this? Yeah, no, that ain't right. Yeah. Wait. So, okay. So, this is this is telling me... I'm looking at this evolution guide. Maybe, maybe the evolution guide is wrong. Um, this is telling me... That... Freaking the only difference between Carboterimon and Coagamon is literally care mistakes. You are shitting me, bro. I literally made the fucking Digimon shit like three times. Like out in the open. What are you talking about? Care mistakes, my fucking ass. Are you shitting me? What? Well, we're resetting. Uh, I guess I'll leave it there. I'll reset. Um, I guess I'll reset. Um... I guess I'll reset and we'll leave it there. Um, I didn't. There's no way, bro. There is literally no way. I mean, okay. If it's going to do this, then I will literally just force a Digivolution and then just get rid of him. Um, just, to, just to say, look. We can we 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 got a digivolution. Let's move on. Um, man, I actually was not thinking I was going to get Carboterium on. If I'm honest, um, I thought if I was going to make a mistake, it was going to be like Vegemon or something. But um, okay, I'm ignoring the tournament. Me thinks. Can I... Okay, can I make a care mistake? Somehow. I forget. Does feeding your Digimon when he's not hungry... Is that a care mistake? Do you know Footloose? I, I forget if it is. I, I want to say it's not. But it might be. I don't actually know. Oh, I want to say it's not. I don't know if that actually... Bro... I, no, I, I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. I made plenty of care mistakes. What is this nonsense? I think something's a foot. Either the guide's wrong, or I don't know, man. The game's bullshitting me. Yeah, I think we're just going to drop the tournament. Because this is where we last saved. So we're, we're kind of... We're kind of hoping we can change things. And if not, I'm going to force things to change the hard way, sadly. Which is not what I want to do. But I'll do it. If I if I have to do it, then I'll have to chuck it. That's my mistake. So hopefully, fingers crossed, 
I can make mis make make at least one or maybe two more mistakes before he digivolve, and I'm hoping that maybe that will do it. Um, if not, I will leave it there, and next time we'll probably just have a different Digimon. I'll probably just shove a Digivolution item in their face, and then I might just call it call it a day. <laughs> call it a day, man. I'm tired. It's time to get a move on. It's time to move things forward. I kind of want to move on and, and play, play another game now. I've been at this a little too long. But again, I've said it's 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 my fault. Um, it is my fault. I don't always plan these things the most efficient way. That's, well, when do I, I suppose, plan things the most efficient way. But, ah, uh, it is what it is. That's a shame. That's a shame. Eh. Eh. Oh. Oh. My game crashed. <laughs> My game just straight up crashed. I've never had that happen before. Well. Alright then. You know what? I did say I was done. So, I think the game itself was saying, like, you know what? Just, just, just go to the fucking toilet. So, oh, well, um, I'll figure out what to do next time. Um, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Hopefully we can sort something out next week. <sighs> Man, been another weird one. Been another weird one. Oh, well, take care.